Because YSC is the oldest and largest nonprofit that only focuses on young women with breast cancer, we know personally that when you live with metastatic disease, it is normal to experience a certain amount of stress and anxiety. Uncertainty about the future, concerns about, about pain and fear of the unknown, all these things are normal. We believe that it's critical that young survivors remember that it's important not to blame yourself for those emotions and to try to find a way that works for you to deal with the stress. In the case of Lisa Adams, she tweets just like many young women do. As the New York Times article stated, her decision to live cancer on stage invites us all to think about it, debate it, and learn from it. Building a supportive community is a key factor in the quality of life for young women who've been diagnosed with breast cancer. This can include doctors, family, friends, and for Lisa, her Twitter followers. It's also very important that young women who've been diagnosed remember to focus on the things that are important to them, the things that provide them with meaning. Those could, that could be family, could be church, could be a hobby or pets. For Lisa, it's her blog and Twitter. I've read all of the articles uh, swirling around Lisa Adams and I commend her for removing the veil of secrecy off of something that's incredibly real and that's palliative care. Young women living with breast cancer sometimes feel an enormous amount of pressure from family and friends that if they're positive, they'll live longer or they'll be able to fight this disease. And I would like to remind all of those people who care so much that adding an additional burden is not helpful. It is important for young women with breast cancer to create the space to have all the emotions they're having, sometimes good and sometimes bad.